Hello, and welcome to our Get to Know You series, where you get to meet the members of the Billie Holiday Project and learn about who they are and what they are up to. My name is Zoe Brielle, and I am the Social Media Web Specialist for the Billie Holiday Project for Liberation Arts, and joining me today is Noah Silas, Billie Holiday's 2021 Fellow, or Artist in Residence. Thank you for joining me today. Yes, thank you so much for having me. I'm very, very excited to have this conversation with you. Noah is an actor, director, and writer for the stage and screen. Formerly, he trained at the Baltimore School of the Arts, and he has a broad list of film and theater credits as a leader and collaborator on projects throughout the greater Baltimore arts community. So before we focus on your upcoming work, Blessed Are the Charmed, Noah, could you give us just a brief introduction of yourself and maybe tell us a little bit about your background in the arts in Baltimore? Absolutely. Um, I've been an actor my entire life. Um, I, my first show, I was like six years old at the uh, Arena Players, which I think now is still the long, black, longest Black operating uh, theater in, in the country. Um, I would do little musical numbers there over the summer. And from there, um, I, you know, I just decided to take my studies as far as acting more seriously. And I saw that the book jobs like at Vagabond Theater and Fells Point, um, theater projects on Preston Street, uh, you know, and just so, so forth and so on for those theater scenes, that are the theater spots that we have here in the city. And from there, I, you know, from acting, I developed a taste and a love to direct. And naturally, when you direct in such a small market as Baltimore, you then become a producer because you have to raise and get funds in order to, you know, uh, put put on the shows that you want. And then just from from there, um, just moving, uh, you know, more and more off of the stage and wearing hats there. That's when I developed my love or just the uh, the few words that I that I had to say. And now I have the title of writer. Um, so you know, just all these all of these hats have stemmed originally from me being being an actor. Yeah, that's really amazing. I know as an artist myself, we tend to gravitate to learning all of the different roles and it just becomes part of the process to know every role. And I'm sure that's helping with your current project. Your project, Blessed Are the Charmed, is a documentary drama that explores the lives of Baltimore-based artists to create a culminating story about the evolution of Baltimore's contemporary Black arts culture scene. Could you give our audience an insight into this project and what it's hoping to do for the community and maybe how you picked the artists that this documentary drama will be focusing on? Well, I would say plainly, I want the audience to be able to establish advice and or solutions of what they think could help Baltimore City's art community and their art scene. So one, I want to establish what those issues are um, in talking with the current artists, you know, just making it as authentic and as organic as possible, asking them what have they personally faced. I mean, these, this is generation after, after generation of artists having to deal with this. And what happens is because it is such a quagmire of issues, even beyond the art scene, we can go with the violence and the blight and the food death, et cetera. But because it is such a quagmire of issues in the city, artists leave um, or, 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 or the art is smothered under so much other mess that it, it, it never blossoms. It never turns into a rose out of the, the uh, con concrete. Once, we, once I show them what these issues are, the fact that even in Billie Holiday's time have dealt with these same issues, the same issues that we're dealing with today, what can be done? How can we move forward? What are some things that we can start to do today? You as an individual, you as a citizen, you as an artist, you as the viewer, what could you do today, tomorrow, this morning, last night to help curtail, just changing it degrees at a time to get rid of these, these issues? And that's, and that's, that's what I want. That's, that's what I'm hoping. And I, I love how community oriented this project is because it's so important to start now we have to come together. And that's that's how I think change happens. Um, is there anything else that you want to mention about how our audience members could get involved? Well, I mean, 
just from the last couple of years, uh, pre and post COVID, I would say if you really, really want to support the black art scene and just the art scene in Baltimore, this art scene in general, um, go out, support them. If it's a theater show, if it's a film, watch it. If it's a um, open art installment at a gallery, go there. Eat the cheese and wine and, and schmooze over the art and the artist. If it's a singer, go on their iTunes or SoundCloud and buy clicks. We live in a very social media heavy society now where your where interactions kind of you know turns into revenue for that said artist so go on their social media sites interact like pages and pictures and I always say say this you know it follow what you like and we have a plethora a long list of different styles of abstract mainstream whatever art that you're into baltimore city has i think that's a great note to end on so thank you so much for being here, Noah, and giving us an insight into your project. Absolutely. And again, thank, thank you for having me. It was an honor to speak with you today. To the listeners, thank you for tuning in and be sure to follow Noah Silas's project, Blessed Are the Charmed, on our website and his social media and subscribe to our monthly newsletter.